Hi, this is Brad Linder with Lilliputing, and today I want to show you something called BlueStacks. It's a new application which lets you run Android applications on a Windows computer. It's available as a free alpha right now, and it uh, comes preloaded with a handful of applications, but there's also an application that you can install on an Android phone or tablet that lets you synchronize some of your apps, so that if you have phones, if you have apps on your phone that you want to be able to run on your PC, you can do that. So, um, Basically, once you install it, you get this uh, icon up here in the corner that you can click to see a list of applications, and mostly right now we're just looking at the ones that came with it. Uh, so for instance, let's take a look at the Pulse Newsreader application. When it loads, it loads in full screen here, but you also have some options at the bottom. You've got a back button, a menu button, um, an X button, which you can use to exit, go back to Windows, go back to Pulse, and um, a rotate app button, which doesn't seem to work very well for me most of the time, and a zoom app button, which puts it into a smaller window. Um, some applications, even though it doesn't take up the full screen, really do look better in a smaller window. Uh, Pulse works pretty well on a full screen. And you can click this button to view a list of all your apps again. So let's take a quick look and see how Pulse looks. Uh, we'll take a look at an article from Time Magazine. Um, again, this might look better in a smaller window, but I've noticed that when you resize, it tends to restart applications. And this is meant to be navigated with a um, fingertip, not a, not a mouse, so the scroll wheel, which I keep wanting to hit, does nothing, but you can click and drag your way through it. Uh, let's go to All Apps, and I'll show you a couple of other things. Um, there's a Get More Apps feature, which opens in your web browser, and that gives you a list of featured applications that are available for download from um, the BlueStacks software site. But you can also use the Cloud Connect button uh, to get a special PIN number, which you can use to um, send applications to your device. And you can see I've sent over the Amazon Kindle application, uh, the Dolphin web browser, and some others. Uh, Facebook didn't want to work properly, and Google Books doesn't work properly because it was unable to uh, recognize my uh, Google account. Let's zoom here. So, uh, give you a quick look at some other applications and see how they run on Windows. We've got the Amazon Kindle application. Works pretty nicely. Uh, there's a Kindle web application, so there's not really a lot of reason that you'd want to use the Android app here on Windows, but if you do for some reason, um, you can read books. They look pretty good. The Robo Defense game is a lot of fun on uh, the computer here, and it works pretty much perfectly. Um, it's a little bit slower than I'd like it to be, but this is not a super fast computer, so it might work better on, uh, on some different computers. Pandora Radio uh, works pretty nicely. Or it did last time I tried it. Um, and it'll stream music in the background, which is a nice feature. And we've got the uh, Dolphin web browser here, which works pretty well. Uh, I mean, it's not, again, the, uh, the sort of view that you'd probably want to use on a desktop computer, but if you want to run Android applications on a computer for some reason, uh, BlueStacks will let you do it. Now, there's certain applications that are not available in the free version of BlueStacks, um, and that includes uh, Angry Birds and some other games. For that, you're going to want to have to you're going to have to pay for the uh, pro version, which uh, is not actually currently available, but it should be soon. And uh, what else do we have? Oh, the Twitter application. Even though Facebook didn't install properly, Twitter did, and it looks pretty good. You can uh, view replies, messages, direct messages, and so forth. Uh, you can click the menu button here to view your profile, change your settings and accounts, etc. And you can also drag down from the top of the screen for notifications. Uh, there aren't currently any, but... If there were, that's where you'd see them. You want to exit BlueStacks entirely. There's a little icon in the Windows menu that you can use. I'm going to go ahead and say Restart. Let's see if I can get Pandora to come up.
and this time it's working properly. So you can see a list of stations, change stations, and you'll see an icon in the uh, corner here which shows you what's playing. So uh, overall, it's, it's sort of like having an Android experience on a Windows computer. If you have Android applications that you really want to be able to run when you're not using Android, this will let you do it. Um, and while it's kind of fun if you want to play Robo Defense on a desktop computer the way that I was able to do here, um, where it really is probably going to come most in handy is on touchscreen devices, uh, whether those be all-in-one PCs or tablets. And uh, I know that uh, ViewSonic, for instance, has already um, produced a tablet which runs Windows 7 but has BlueStacks software allowing you to run some Android applications. Um, because there's not full access to the Google Android market, this is something that's probably going to work best if you already have an Android device so that you can synchronize your applications. But as BlueStacks moves from the alpha stage to beta and final release, it might be possible that they'll uh, expand their marketplace as well and offer more applications for download. So this is Brad Linder taking a look at BlueStacks, which lets you run Android applications on a Windows computer should also be available for Mac in the future.